On today's video, we're gonna change out a pressure assist cartridge on a toilet. The tools that you need is some pliers, Phillips screwdriver, and a penny. I'll show you what that is for later. And of course, your cartridge. Okay, first thing we do is we shut the water off. Take this cap off here. And we're also going to replace this. It comes in the kit. So put this aside for now. Okay, put this aside. And this right here. You can just flip it around and pull it off. You don't have to take that clip off. You could if you want, but you don't really have to. Then there's a Phillips screw right here on this. Take it off. Once that Phillips screw is moved, turn this counterclockwise. this up okay now here's your cartridge you just take some channel locks or some kind of pliers probably would want to use bigger channel locks but it's the only ones we found and just up here to get in the cartridge just take it off kind of clock Make sure, better make sure that the water's off on there. Okay, once it's loose, you just pull it out the old cartridge. Here's uh, the kit. It comes with a new cartridge. An actuator. A screen and this duct fill valve and just put that in there like that and when you put this on you just hand tight do not use any pliers on this it's just it goes hand tight uh, good snug just like that okay now we're gonna go ahead and put in our cartridge put it straight in and just begin to turn this by hand until where it stops. Okay, turn your water back on. Okay, you turn the water on slow. Water's coming down to the drain, so that's good. Now let's go ahead and calibrate this. How we calibrate it is, instructions say, you get some pliers, and you turn, you turn a cartridge a half a turn. And every half a turn, you gotta wait five seconds. What well, we're trying to, we're gonna hear a difference in the, in the pressure where the water starts sealing, so let's go ahead and try it. Half a turn. You gotta wait five seconds. Another half a turn. One. Another half a turn. When when we start hearing a difference in the water, okay, five seconds. Okay, 
See how he's starting to hear that? Out the turn. Let's wait five seconds. That's it. Perfect calibration. That's how you do it. Lots of times these cartridges, there's actually nothing wrong with them. All you have to do is recalibrate them. If it's not leaking or anything, just recalibrate them and should work fine, save you some money. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. Perfect. Okay, now we have to put our our actuator cap back on there with the screw. And this too has to be adjusted. So let's go ahead and be careful when you put this on, you don't cross thread. You don't cross thread it because this is plastic, so be real careful. So we put this all the way down, <clears throat> and then we have to adjust the height. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay. Now we're gonna now we have to put our lever lever in. So they say the height's supposed to be really really for this to work correct you got to have a small gap between the lever and the actuator so it's got to be like 1.52 millimeters or the thickness of a penny is 1.25 millimeters so we can use that so that's going to be our gap right there and if you get that adjusted it'll flush perfect let's go ahead and do that Set it in like so. Once it's set in good, we see that we have a big gap down here. See the gap how it's big, so all we gotta do is bring, bring this clockwise to bring up the, the right height. 1.52 millimeters, or you can use a penny. So. Slide it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but what the instructions say. So there it is there. Barely touching. So that's our gap. One penny. So now that we got that once you got the height adjusted then just put your Phillips screw back. Tighten it down. Go ahead and put our clip back on. There it is there, that's tight. We got our gap right. Got it calibrated. Let's give it a shot. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like.